hot out, hot out, hot out in it. Hey, man. Okay, guys. As of right now, we're in Denny's. I don't. I can't show you that we're in Denny's, but we're in Denny's for real. Um. Yeah. So we're about to do this little mukbang. We didn't get our food yet, but we're about to start this video. I'm with my little friend right here. Introduce yourself. Name, number, age, ethnicity. Come on. Should it be? Hey guys, um, Deanna here. Uh, you know, I'm 19 years old, ripe for the picking. You know, I. <laughs> hey guys, um, name's Deanna, 19. You can contact me at. You're gonna, you're gonna bleep it out. Put on. Okay, okay, okay. What's up, guys? Um, we're gonna be answering some questions. Um, people sent questions to him, they sent questions to me. You know, the fans wanna know what's Deanna up to? You know? What does she think about this and that? And you guys are going to find out. Let's do it. So how do you feel not being able to see? Put on your glasses. Oh, hell no. But I feel great. Put on your glasses. The people want to see you wear glasses on. I know some of my, 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 some of my mandem are going to want to see you wear glasses on. they want to see me wear glasses? Put your glasses on, please. No, thank you. Gotcha, fellas. All right, guys. So we're going to get into some of the questions right about now. One of the questions is, I look cool. Hold up. what is what are some of your red flags, Deanna? Um, red flags in a guy or in a girl? Red in a guy. Mm, like relationship wise or friendship wise? Uh, any wise. Mm. Black men, you know. Some of red flag, black. Bye. Have a great time. Yeah. Red flag. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, let me think. I would say a red flag is a guy that has a lot of girlfriends but no guy friends. That's a red flag to me because why do you have so many girlfriends? What are you doing with them when I'm not there? Think I am in frame. Oh, like more in frame. Alright, speak Um what's another red flag on a guy? Um, a guy that's super like into me off rip. Like there's nothing like Listen, I love effort. I think all girls love effort, but it's like when a guy's like, oh my gosh, my queen, please, like, text me back right now in 30 seconds. Oh, simpy. Exactly. Okay. I, I like simps, though. It's just like when, yeah. when you, I like, yeah, right I like simps. It's just when it's overly done, it just gives, like, you're going to lock me in your basement and kill me when I don't answer your messages. You know, that's how you get ghosted really fast. Yeah. All right, guys. Me, uh, red flags. Um, being a little bit too loose, you know. I only say loose. The man don't know what I mean. Hey, see, loose how? see how you just how? made a face. You know, just being a little bit too free. Like, it's you know, the, the hot girl thing is not for you guys. It's twenty twenty two. What do you hot mean? Hot girl, hot girl is dead. Like, I so promise you, is dead. Loose um, like what? A bunch of bodies? No, no, no. I'm not. Like when I say loose, like you're just like you're out there. Like you know, man's know you. You know. Nobody knows you, right? So being popular? No, but like, you know, just being wrong, no, being known for the wrong reasons. Okay. So if mans know you for being on the corner, then I don't, you're, you're a red flag to me. All right. Feel what I'm saying? That's just it. What are, what's one thing in a relationship you could live without? Recording? Deanna, those crepes do not look nice. They look cute. Okay, little samosas. No. Samosas? There's no way you came to a breakfast spot thinking. Wait, wait, guys, guys, guys. Guys, the waitress Shut is up. so fine. Not, She's flop. so fine. Don't move too freaky on this camera, huh? No, because she might see it. Listen, she okay. might. I might get her snap after this phone. Don't step on my toes like that. But I'm just saying, if you're not going to slide, I'm going to slide. Hey, I thought you were putting in your lemonade for a second. I got scared. Oh, am I weird? Mm. That's a question. Um, something really should I can live without. I don't know. Like, one thing that you like, okay, like, is it, like, bad communication, like... Okay, like, negative stuff. I thought you meant, like, good stuff, but, like, I don't really need it. No, like, not saying, like, you have to give up something just to say, like, okay, like, you don't want this. Like, this is something that is usually in relationships that you wouldn't want. Okay, seeing each other, like, every, every day. Like, a lot of people in relationships nowadays, like, to be with their significant other, like, every day or, like, five times a week. And it's, like, me... Personally, I like a guy who has, like, you know, goals, who's going places. So it's, like, for me, the type of guy that I want to be with, especially in a long-term relationship, is someone who, you know, won't always have time for me, but make time for me because he knows that I'm important to him, if that makes sense, you know? Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Me, um, I could live without, um, I could live without bad communication. You know me, I'm a, I'm a big person about communication. Like, if you can't speak to me, if you can't, like, you know, tell me everything you're going through, I don't want you, you know? And I say that in the most, like, the humblest way. Like, I just, I just feel like communication mends a relationship in a good way. So, you guys, if you're in a relationship right now, make sure you talk to your significant other. Don't hide stuff. Don't do none of that. Let's get into the next question, though. Next question. Uh, why can't, why can't girls try to get men? Excuse me? <laughs> Answer the question. Like, the- Answer the question. What are you talking about? Okay. You, <laughs> why should you pick up the Wait, did someone like ask like ask you to ask that question? I promise you, every question I ask from that is me. Listen, so the person that sent in that question, watching the video right now. It's me. Speak to me. <laughs> click, off. To them. click off. Click off. Click oh off. Ask the question. What are you t- why, why would why can't girls try for men? Okay, okay. I can only speak for myself personally, but the type of um, dynamic I would like between myself and a, a man is that, like, you know, someone who puts in effort. <laughs> so, <laughs> someone who puts in effort to kind of, like, make me feel like I'm special. I feel like... I mean, you can say that about anyone where it's, like, everyone's kind of easily replaceable. I wouldn't say, like, personality-wise, but, like, you can always find another girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever, even though the relationship's not the same. I feel like it's just... A man's job to kind of like you know is that a bad th- i don't know how to describe it without sounding like a bigot explain no explain your side okay. if you feel that way speak personally i would never ever chase after a guy it's like the whole like proposing me i would never okay, that's deep, no bro. i'm saying like you need to understand from the you, depths of my soul you badly want to hear, like, <laughs> if i feel like if he's actually it, then he'll see me as it too. I need to be. I need to feel special by a guy before I even like catch feelings for him. Okay. That's how it is. So for me, I won't even look twice at a guy that doesn't find me attractive. Why am I begging a guy to like me? You know, girls are approached every day by guys, so it's like, why would she be coming for you to try to get her? You know what I mean? It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. I can't answer that question. Would you want. ever want a girl to come and try to get you? Yes. Really? Like, not like, oh, run after me. Because, again, like, me, I'm a person that I like trying, you know? Like, I like, I don't like when girls play around and, like, make it seem like they don't want me. But it's like, I like, you know, working for something I want. You get what I'm saying? Well, there's no work if she's asking you out. No, I'm just saying, like, in general, why can't girls, you know, go for guys? Just not me. Okay, why do girls why do girls act like they don't want the guy but actually want them? Like the sec, like you want a guy but you try your best not to express none of your feelings to him. Why guys like chasing girls. Guys like the chase. The guys like the chase. No, that's not a fact though. That's true. No, watch, watch, watch. This is how one oh one oh one how you run down on some. Or not some. Let me not be disrespectful to the woman. You know, eye contact and you connect. You don't think she was squirting? No, I don't think she wants you. I think she's straight. And she's straight too. I don't know why she's moving so sus right now. Like, chill out, buddy. Chill out. What do you think girls should bring to the table? Next question. Next question? No, we're talking about it. What do you think girls should bring to the table? Okay, let me chew. Yeah, chew. Oh, was that a stupid question? It's a stupid question. No, oh, it isn't. I just, feel like it's a stupid question. No, just question. tell me. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing like, oh, like, I'm asking you what a girl should bring to the table. Okay, I feel like either way, okay, here's here's my, my first take, right? I feel like either way, asking somebody what they bring to the table, whether they're a man or a woman, is very, like, it makes the relationship feel very transactional, which relationships are transactional. Oh, you don't ask them in the relationship. No, some people ask that before they get into relationships. Like what a guy you, or a girl be like, oh, well, what, what do you bring, bring to the, the table? table? That's no, what they I'm ask. Saying, like, what do you think you go into a relationship, you should have to go into that relationship? Okay, um, 
You're making everything harder than it is. I should have, um, you know, like emotional stability and stuff like that. I should have my own thing going on before I even think about getting into something with someone else. I should be like, you know, a woman should always be confident within herself. You should be happy with yourself before you're trying to make yourself go with someone else, you know? It's just, but that's just like me personally. I have to be happy and like not connected to any other so, guy romantically. So you be able to cook, please? The f- hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, for real, like. No. What? No. You shouldn't. Should a guy be able to cook and clean? Yes. So why is that something you specifically no, brought up for the I women? Should, I should be able to cook and clean. Okay. It's 50-50. Okay, so don't, that's you, though. Don't worry about what the woman's doing. She's, she's doing her own thing. You're not dating a woman because she can cook and clean. It's not your mom. It's not your I'm just, that's I, your girlfriend. See how you're getting, you're getting, that's, you're getting in it for what? Okay, but you know me. You know no, I love no, cooking. I'm just saying, you know I have this whole no, segment. No, I'm just saying. Do you think being the wife, being, you know, somebody that's going to have kids with this other man, do you think you should be able to cook, you know, clean, care for a home, okay, you know? I, I think everybody should be able to All right, clean. all right, simple. Don't, no more. I, don't mean to, I didn't mean to cut you out, but, like, you know, like, you're doing a lot. And you shouldn't be. You know you're doing a lot, but don't make a face, you know? I mean, serious, though. It's no, just, but you just got, you just got amped to me for what? It's not something not something that's like exclusive to women though i'm not saying it is and you i'm shouldn't have to cook and clean to get into a relationship. i'm just saying no i'm saying if you don't know how to cook but you're down to learn how to cook if you're down to learn watch videos with me on how to cook fried chicken let's do it i'm about it that's that's all i'm saying i'm not saying oh yeah no nah, you can't be my wife if you can't cook like you're a bum the heck what does my mom do at, at at the crib? She cooks. She tells me what to clean. You know, she runs the house. My dad is out working every other day. Can your dad cook the clean? Yes, my dad's a head chef. All right then. How do you properly start a relationship? Friendship. Friendship. Mm-hmm. Friendship for how long? Mm-hmm. Friendship until like you guys have the mutual feelings or. Just... I guess friendship into mutual feelings. But I feel like you guys need to get to know each other in a not romantic way before you guys worry about getting into a relationship. Okay, great answer, man. See, see that? See, guys, replay the clip. She didn't. She wasn't that calm and you know collected back when I asked that other question. That question just spoils my blood. I don't know why. No, upset. no, because when I asked you that question in in our messages, you were calm and cool. Was I? Yes. Okay. What did the guy do to win you over in the most respectful way? I feel like a guy that's um it's just like weird but it's like to win over my respect i feel like a guy who's like i don't know how to describe it i would say like the way that they treat their friends would be like a way they can win over my respect does that make sense because it's like what do you mean by that it's like okay guys will have their friends right and it's like those are people that have been in your life for a really long time i'm this girl coming into your life it's like if i see the way you treat your friends and like you know you're not a good friend to them like you're snaky i guess like that it just it uh, it's kind of like a turn off because it means i can't trust you because like if you can do that to your friends who are always there for you what are you gonna do to me so i guess like a basic way to win my respect is just be someone who's like respectful Isn't i'm saying like win your respect to say like okay yeah like i like that you know like a turn he on? could be my yeah type b like what can he do to be like like holding your door like yeah i like that you know like you know, things like things like that. Mm-hmm. What can you do? Okay. Um, okay. For example, right? I'm a pretty shy person, so I would say a guy who kind of like takes that into account and is like aware of that when we're in social settings is like a turn on. Even if, even if like we're somewhere where I'm comfortable, it would still be like, oh, like, yeah, you know, you okay? You know, you're being kind of quiet. It's like, yeah, I am okay. You know? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? It's just, it's just nice. What's that though? It was just like a. Let the people know what that long. It was like a. You care? Mm. Oh. Mmm. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Oh, you know- my phone's about to die though. Let's hope it doesn't. Do we pray for. Oh. I my food. Damn. You didn't bring your car? 
you what? You didn't bring your card? No, oh, I didn't. Did you pay? Sure. 100%? Sure. Like, and I, I can't, like, I can't send you the money. I don't have any chance. Okay. You good? Yeah. Why do you say it like that? I'm saying, I'm saying. Hello? We're having Diana Medley here. Guys, go follow her Instagram. So she, I don't have Instagram. You don't have Instagram. Guys, you won't be able to find this young lady nowhere. Sucks. Sucks. Add me on Snapchat. I probably won't add you, you want to add you on Snapchat? I'm not going to add you. She's not going to add you guys back, so it's tough. She's an uh, undisclosed female? Girl? What do you want to say? Woman? Dad? I do <laughs> Chill, chill, chill. Chill, chill, chill. I didn't say it. I did not say it. Okay. So, you're undisclosed. Girl? Yeah. Girl. It was nice talking to you guys. Um, and answering your questions very much so. You know, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, YouTube.